everybody. It is Matthew of Mr. Domestic, where I spread joy and positivity through sewing and fabric play. And this video is the second part in my video series where I am vlogging Mr. Domestic cleans the sewing room. This one is all about freeing Grover. And you can see he is free. Look at it. I did that, folks. I did that, folks. That was me folding a bunch of fabric downsizing. Um, this was a lot of work. My room got super duper ugly again, and then it got somewhat cute again. There's still a lot of work, but if you want to see how I went from Drekitude to like, okay, that's a showroom kind of shelving system with really, really pretty fabric, then stick around for some fun. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to laugh and have fun. <laughs> everybody so I am back to cleaning my room um, I'm excited about the end the process ah uh, it's um it's kind of fun I guess it feels good to like get stuff in the place that it needs to get but um, it's gonna be a lot of work and right now what I am going to do is focus on freeing Grover. Felicia is free, and yes, I'm keeping my desk clean. I need a free Grover. Let me take you over to see him. Look at poor Grover. See him? Like, that's not okay. He's like my, like, cherished stuffy from my childhood that Helena made me get, and like, really, it brings back all of the feels. He shouldn't be there. He needs to be in a pronounced space. And also, my thinking with the shelves behind there, that's what this is going to focus on. The shelves is, um, I, I like to use that as the backdrop for a lot of my videos, and it's not set up to essentially show who I am, like, as a person, as a maker, as, like, a teacher or whatever. So I need it to, one, be beautiful, and two, um, show me better. So I want Grover to have, like, a nice little spot. Maybe I'll make him a chair or something. And um, everything that's on that shelf needs to represent me. Stuff that I want and not just fill a shelf. Because, you see that? My floor. The reason I have a bunch of stuff on my floor is because I don't have a place to put it on my shelf. And I have a lot of stuff on my shelf that I probably won't use. And I know that, like, I'm not the only one out there. Like, you buy fabric or you get fabric and you think that um, you're going to make a project with it. You have it in your mind, but you never get to it. Like, this is my moment to tell myself, you know what, Matthew? You are not going to make that thing. It's time to give the fabric to someone who will cherish it and make something awesome. So, I'm ready to get started. Yes, this was a long rant. And, um... I am going to start with removing stuff from my room that doesn't need to be in my room or on my shelves. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna do this. We got it! are now my shelves. There are some open spots that were just fillers. And honestly, there's more, like all of that fabric. Um, there's some that I'm just not going to use. I'm not into like low volume. So I'm thinking like I can like donate this stuff. And um, my thought process is like, since this is the center, this is like the dominant place for my videos, that this needs to be one, the most aesthetic, and then two, the most colorful. So some of my bigger chunks of fabric and my fabric are going to go in the center. So, like, I think I need to bring this down just because it's so tidy. Like, bring it down to here. This needs to be front and center. And then some of those, they're bigger chunks and they're just, like, easier to look at than, like, this. So, I've been worried about organizing the floor anymore. It's all about freeing Grover and making sure that those shelves behind me look amazing. Shelves on fleek. <laughs> oh, my God. People don't say that. When I say on fleek, I'm totally making fun because, like, that's the most ridiculous thing to say. Y'all know that, right? <laughs>
So I have cleared off mostly the shelves behind me and like I'm totally having anxiety because at least I had a desk that was clean and now it's like my whole room is like a hot mess again. And I think this is why I took a couple of days off because I knew it would be like this. But, um, <laughs> ah, focus on the end, focus on the end. You got this, focus on the end. <laughs> so this is what's going on on the other side. Like this is all my fabric and I'm totally grateful. I'm filled with gratitude that I have all of this fabric, but um, I need some organization and some of it's gotta go. So um, I'm gonna handle that. Empty, empty. I'm about to fill you up, empty. So I'm on like the floor again because I'm just, it's nice. I like my floor and um, I, I'm frustrated because, like, I usually sew whenever, like, I'm frustrated to make myself feel better. But, like, I don't have a spot to sew. And so I have got to put all of that fabric oh, on my shelves to get it out of the way so that I can sew. Because I need to sew. So my sanity is motivating me. <laughs> Okay, so I am totally busted, <laughs> but I had an idea for my shelves that is going to be super extra, but let me explain. Okay, this is where I am so far, and in this, it's like, it wasn't satisfying me 100%, and so, I mean, it looks really good, like, especially the center, but what I decided was I want, and this might be a little extra, I want there to be a gradient from this to over there from warm colors all the way through to cool colors. I think that'll look really sharp and aesthetic. And so um, I am still excited about everything, but now that I'm seeing what is potential for those shelves and how awesome they can be, I am going to, uh, make me sad already. I'm going to go through all my fabric behind me and I'm going to look at every piece of fabric and those fabrics that bring me joy, I'm going to keep those that do not, I'm going to put in another pile, and I'll probably have some giveaways. Definitely one on here. So um, make sure to watch all of the videos so that you can see how to win some fabric. But that is what I'm going to do now. So wish me luck. <sighs> So I have um, gone through all of my fabric, most of it, probably like 90% of it, and I have organized it by color-ish, and I went through the ones that I had an intuitive feeling about and those that I were like, okay, and I didn't question it, and that allowed me to get through it in an hour, and now I have three trash bags full of fabric, and... I think it's time for a giveaway, and <laughs> I don't know how many things of fabric I'm going to give away, um, and I'll try to, like, mix it up, but I'm going to give that fabric away on Instagram and Facebook and on YouTube, so make sure to check it out. I'll do them simultaneously. There will be rules and stuff in the description once I figure it out, but, okay, I just had a moment where I was like, oh my gosh, this looks really good. This was a great idea. And I think that I'm going to end here. So let me show you where I'm going with this. What I was saying. It is going to stay on the top, but see, it's like I have the different things and they're going to a gradient. Ooh. And then that open thing, I am thinking that row is going to be like prints. Like, 
quilter's cotton that I'll be able to go all the way through. I think that would be stunning. So thank you for coming on my journey where I freed my long lost pal, Grover, who was trapped in the fabric mess. And I am super jazzed about the potential of my sewing room. I feel like I've gotten over the hump and I see how inspirational this room could actually be for me. I've never really thought of it that way. And I hope that it will be that for y'all as well. So if you enjoyed this video, got a laugh or a tip or a trick, then make sure to give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to leave stuff in the comments and to like it and subscribe and all of that stuff. And if you are still here, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of the three bags of fabric that I have right there. And I'm not even going to open it. So it's kind of going to be a mystery, but I have three grocery paper bags full of fabric at a minimum fat quarters. It's a lot of fabric. And I'm going to give one away on Facebook, one away on Instagram, and then one away here. And for this one, all you have to do is leave a comment below. I mean, I think that's how they go. And then like in a week, um, I'll put the time and stuff. I don't know what that's going to be. I don't even know what day it is today. Oh, it's the first. Happy New Year! <laughs> so, have fun. La 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 la. <laughs> Keep it positive, Mr. Domestic. <laughs>